Hey everybody, Chris here from Protocase with a Proto Tech Tip, and today we're going to talk about anodizing. So here at Protocase, we offer anodizing for your custom aluminum enclosures or parts. Anodizing is an electrochemical process used to make the surface of non-ferrous metals extremely hard, which makes it less likely to corrode. At Protocase, we offer two types of sulfuric acid anodizing, and that is type 2 and type 3. So what's the difference? Both involve an acid bath with electricity, which, when used together, enhances the oxide layer on aluminum. The key difference is that for type 3 anodizing, the temperature of the sulfuric acid is lowered and the bath runs at a higher voltage. So to be exact, type 2 anodizing is processed at 19 degrees Celsius or 66 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas type 3 anodizing is processed at 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. The end result is a denser wear-resistant layer that creates a harder than smoother finish than type 2. And this is very difficult to show through a screen, but if you have both in your hands together, you can actually really feel the difference. So if you're dealing with a project that requires a part or enclosure to be exposed to the elements of heat or electricity, an anodized finish is resistant to corrosion and because of its hard surface, especially when using type 3, the finish will provide a durable layer that will give the enclosure or part a very long lifespan, resistant to scratches and wear. And anodizing also just gives you a really striking look and there's actually a lot of colors you can choose from. There's even a vibrant green and violet which fall under type 2 anodizing. So if you're sending in your next project into Protocase to manufacture, it's really important to understand how anodizing will affect the tolerances. Remember, each manufacturing service is different. So if you are using another company for your next project, just be sure to check with them first. So if you're using a type 2 anodized finish, it will add between 4 to 8 ten thousandths of an inch thickness, so less than 1 thousandth of an inch thickness. And type 3 will add 1 thousandth of an inch thickness. One other thing to remember when creating your design is you're going to want to make sure all your fasteners in your part or enclosures are aluminum to match the metal that you've selected. And this will ensure that the fasteners don't melt or corrode due to the solution that is being used. So feel free to check out our website for more information regarding this finish, including size restrictions and a complete list of colors. We put some direct links in the description below. And be sure to also check out our blog, which outlines many other technical tips, or just send an email to info@protocase.com. So thanks for watching, and I hope this information helped. Be sure to tune in next week where we give you another proto tech tip.